sacrifice uh, Getting through the day and night uh, All the shit I sacrifice Getting through the day and night Trying to fix my spirit right the black body in performance is never just performance. It's an outer inner body experience. The way we are all connected, the way our bloodlines, our DNA is communicating, manifesting in reality. How dare I not be an artist? How dare I let doubt tell me different? When I literally see source energy enter my soul as soon as I hit the stage, the mic, it's never just me, it's my ancestors speaking through me and it's a recharge. Never just for me. It's never just for me. This, this thing of performance is a dialogue. It's a necessity. Fat Play was this really beautiful multimedia performance. I do a lot of multimedia performances at different venues, but How I Play was my first huge ass show at The Shed. Um, and it was beautiful. I got to work with some of my favorite people. I got to work with Ashley August, Monique, Arisha Love, Rosa Angelica. Yeah. How do you guys keep in your heart when you're doing these kind of programs? Because I felt like that was something that was obvious, um, yeah, that you guys were still very much in your heart. Right. You know? I think it's just remembering why you wrote what you wrote. Mm -hmm. Remembering what your ultimate goal is mm -hmm. in life as an artist. Because for me, it's like, I think representation is mad important, right? And we yeah. keep saying representation and all that shit, but there's something that we did for people by being in our, yeah. just in so our bodies. Important. That 1,400 people, yeah. Right? yeah so we like, did some yeah. like, we, didn't, we didn't even have to say shit yet, and it's like, damn, that person looks just like me, right? Yeah. Yeah. Or my cousin, so or my auntie, yeah. or my friend, right? Yeah. So I think that was already a thing, because it's like, if you, if we all dropped out of the show, it was like, nah, fuck it. It's There's like, fuck, white then it will be a bunch so it will be will be replaced and our by friends, white people yeah, and, our friends wouldn't and get that experience. we wouldn't yeah and Word. yeah and i had they a my that. friend like she like, sent me a bunch of voice notes after the show mm -hmm. and she was like i remember like rehearsing with you for like random things and she was like you yeah, made it yeah. and she said i walked into that theater and saw 900 seats and was like that's all for you and she was like that's yeah. what you deserve but that's also what i deserve as mm -hmm. an artist too oh, and she was like that. she was like yo that's so important to see you have it because i know i can have it and i know the rest of our friend group and the rest right. of the people that look like us can do that and i was like shit that's what all this, this struggle was, was for right yeah. but it just it sucks that we have to struggle in order to, to have these through. triumphant moments but i feel like what i learned from this show was that you know blackness especially american blackness is so diverse and a lot of times we try to avoid our traumas and then it ends up in the art. And it's unavoidable. You have to tell every part of yourself in order to be black, I feel. I feel like if you just tell one part of yourself, you're deadening the truth. You're deadening the essence of what this is. So I'm very grateful for what Power Play became, became because it told all the aspects of blackness. Um, and it was intergenerational. We got to work with Nona Hendricks from the LaBelles, who is an extraordinary woman. And I got to do an interview with Carrie Mae Weems, who also became like such an inspiration to my whole being now. And now I know how I want to be when I step into these spaces. I don't want to be just taken over, you know? I want to I wanna take over the space. And I think that's what Power Play was about. It was about taking over the space and not being afraid and saying our truth as terrifying as it might be. But that's what I got out of it. Why are you moving? Why are you even trying to go across this land? I am my mother's eyes. Not to say that is all that I am, but I understand that my purpose in this wander of wonder is to help them and me see. And so moving is allowing the mind to form new forest. 
and understandings of living. And if I can do it, I better do it now. I feel like I manifested a lot of amazing things in New York City. I remember writing in my notebooks how every everything I do is going to be in the vein of music and in performance art. And I said, you know, I really, really want to do performance art because I've always been a theater kid and an artist in performance. And that was a big strength of mine. And then I went to LA last year and I realized music could be a big strength of mine in a whole new planet. And so I feel as though I accomplished a lot. I have a lot to be proud of. I have a lot to be grateful for. But I feel like I've been transitioning for a long time. And now this is the transition in manifestation. And this is the trans transition becoming tangible and physical and very real. And I thank God every day because we're about to really shift paradigm and sweep into a new vortex of who we're supposed to be. What are some of the things that you're taking with you? Some lessons that you learned here, some, you know, things of that nature. Like what, what are you taking with you to LA? I'm taking my family, my chosen family with me. Um, the love of my life, Jamel. That's me. That's me. And you don't have to say love of your life, Jamel. Just say you, babe. Just say me. I'm taking you. I'm taking Terrence. I'm taking my new sis, Angel. I'm taking a new understanding of support. And support in an emotional and spiritual and familial way. I think the biggest thing that I didn't feel in New York at one point was that I was fully supported. I felt like I had to learn to support myself and understand survival support. Like, you know, I did performance art and all that stuff because I knew that that was going to be some way that I could support myself easily and quickly. And then when I just let love come in, love with you, love with friends, love even with my family that is very complicated, this idea of support transformed. It wasn't so much about money or food on the table or things of that nature. It was more so if I have love and I have good people around me and good energy around me, everything else will shape itself. And so I'm taking that with me in Los Angeles and I'm super excited about it. Kid? Kid? I don't want the thing, kid. Come in the camera and give me a kid. Say something true like. True like. True like. Nasty self, man. True like. I'm gonna pick your nose. <laughs>